By 1985, the scientists in the International Panel on Climate Change knew that we were affecting the climate in a big way. They'd been researching this for over 20 years before that date and at the moment we are still at a stage where we've taken no serious action on climate change anywhere in the world. One or two places and one or two politicians here and there have got a grip but the vast majority haven't. The simple fact is that we can do something about it relatively cheaply and relatively simply. But the longer we leave it, the more it's going to cost individually and at an international level. This unit beside me is a system of solar panels producing electricity. The main panel arrangement that you can see there produces a peak of 2.4 kilowatts which means that in the summer on a reasonably good day with clear sun it will produce 2.4 kilowatts. The important thing is that on an annual basis this system of panels here produces more energy than we use annually and therefore we can therefore classify ourselves as carbon positive as far as our electricity use is concerned. We use electricity for lighting like most people, we use electricity for cooking and probably five or eight percent of our house heating comes from electricity but by being registered with uh, a company which produces everything from renewables in the winter, that is mostly coming from wind power because wind power produces most of its energy in the winter. Solar obviously produces most of its energy in the summer. These panels face almost due south, but anywhere between southeast and southwest is effective. If you're south of the equator, you want it northeast to northwest. So that's fairly important. The angle at which these panels are is about 30 degrees and that gives the maximum amount of energy on an annual basis. But panels could easily be steeper than that to give an increased amount of energy in the winter. This unit here is what's called a grid-linked solar unit which means that whatever electricity is being produced we will use it ourselves first if we've got something switched on. Whatever we haven't got switched on, whenever it's not switched on, the electricity goes all to the grid. And if, for instance, we put on a one kilowatt single heater on the cooker to heat up our midday soup, and this producing one kilowatt, then we will take the energy from here directly. It's all automatic of course, we don't have to do anything. It's all worked on the voltage of the system. These are 24 volt panels, but they go through an inverter, which we'll show you in a minute, and that inverter converts the electricity to just over the mains current, which means that that electricity, our electricity, is able to push its way back into the grid. By pushing it back into the grid, our next door neighbour might be using our electricity if, we're, if we haven't got anything switched on. So it's a very simple, very basic system which works ridiculously well. This is the inverter which is in the building right next to the panels you've just been looking at. An inverter, all it does is it prepares the electricity for putting into the grid and it sort of connects directly to it. It's important that with the grid electricity which runs at between 220 and 240 volts in the UK, that any electricity which is put into the grid has to be at the same number of cycles per second. 50 cycles per second is what we work at. And so the electricity has to be, if you like, prepared from 
what comes in from panels. And then the electricity which goes out from this inverter is at a slightly higher voltage than the mains that's coming in. Electricity is rather like water from that point of view. The voltage is the pressure behind the electricity. It's not the amount, it's just the pressure. So if we've got 200, up to 240 volts coming in, then any electricity which is added to the grid has to be pushed out at a slightly higher voltage. Remember that it's like the pressure of water this goes out at about 248 volts. That enables it to go back into the grid without any difficulty. So all the surplus that we don't use goes back and it may be that we heat up the soup in the neighbor's house during the middle of the day. Our electricity will always be used first for the nearest people that have got something switched on.